Morning. Welcome to the farm. I'm gonna give you a little walk around tour. Hope everybody slept well. Like I told you last night, I was gonna try to get a few videos this morning around the farm and doing a few things. I'm just here this morning to start things off, waiting on everybody to get in, get ready to go to work. And then once everybody gets here, we're gonna go and plant some corn. Checking out a paint job we did. That's an axle out of one of our dish airs. Case International. So, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of red, but uh, as you can see, we're primarily John Deere around here. Got the eight row planter right here, ready to go. I'm gonna try to get a little corn planted with it probably next week after the rain comes. We just uh, start this year off, we, uh, between the weather and equipment breaking, we've had a time. But uh, we still got the old Faithful 6 row hooked up to a good tractor and got this hair in front of it. And we still been knocking a good dent in it. Be a little bit better if we had 8 row going, but uh, you know, sometimes you gotta make do. Hopefully once this rain comes in Sunday and Monday, as long as it don't flood everything, we should uh, have enough time. We'll get all this equipment fixed, and once we get all this equipment fixed, then we can put another planter in the field, and we can really get after it then, cross the makers, and get this corn crop knocked out for you. That right there, that's our case hair. That the axle's out of. Of course, it breaks when you got brand new blades on all the way around and spend a bunch of time and money getting it rebuilt, and then something like that breaks. But when you live on a farm and you work on a farm, you don't let things like that stop you. You just gotta crack down and fix it and go on. I'm just gonna walk you around the shop yard a little bit here just to show you what we got going on. We're uh, nothing but row crop, no produce, no animals, nothing like that. We uh, primarily cotton, corn, and peanuts. We do throw in a little bit of soybeans every now and then. Um, we'd love to do soybeans more, but simple truth is, down here where we live, the deer population is so darn high that even if you do have plant soybeans and you have a great crop, it don't take but a week of not paying attention and the deer done clean 30, 40 acres off. And the way the markets are and seed costs and fertilizer, you just, you can't afford that, honestly. That's a, that's a big waste, that's a big loss. Cotton, the deer eat it, but it's not quite as bad. Normally, we'll plant anywhere from 1,100 to some, some years, 1,600 acres of cotton. We uh, plant a good bit of soybeans. Or not soybeans, we plant a good bit of peanuts every year. Try to get them in. And we're off to a good start this year so far with the peanuts. Uh, we had not got any planted, but the good thing is, is every little minute that we have been down a little bit with the corn planting, we've also been pulling a better getting all of our peanut laying up on beds and getting that moisture trapped in there. That way when it's time to plant the peanuts, we're not sitting still, we're ready to go. We got the moisture. We ain't worried about the heat. We're not worried about dry weather. We can get the peanuts in and get them in the dirt. And that's the whole brilliance really of beds. A lot of people don't use it because it's a lot of extra wear and tear on equipment. It's hard on a tractor pulling a better because it ain't on wheels or nothing. It's just down in the dirt, grinding, getting it in, nothing but dead weight. But as long as you got moisture, you can put everything in beds and trap the moisture inside the bed and you're good to go. It's not like no-till planting or running a subsoil rig right behind a disc area, which takes a lot of moisture out the ground. 
so it works out pretty good um also the good thing with the beds is when we get ready for peanuts all we got to do is send the one planter out to the field with a bed knocker and you can it's a one-man show pretty much besides having somebody help load and unload seeds and chemicals you can really go out there and one man can handle pretty much all the peanuts and then you can focus all your other people towards getting your cotton crop in and around here cotton's our main thing but hopefully things will turn around at the moment with the coronavirus and the economy it's really did a number on the cotton market but we're gonna stay positive and hopefully things will work out and prices will go up do a little moving around this morning on our farm we uh forgot to tell you earlier we don't do any irrigation so when we're planting corn it is very very crucial for us to find the fields that have the heaviest land and the best moisture and right now it's getting a little dry on us so the biggest thing to do right now is trying to find fields that have the moisture we can place the corn in where we know it can succeed and get moisture on that seed as we plant it we do a little moving around this morning, checking some fields, and we found a good little section of fields we got over, over there across the county. It's a uh, good heavy land. It's wet when it rains, but that's perfect for corn. It's perfect corn land. So uh, we're gonna get out here and try to finish these fields. We got out here in smokes, getting them planted. And once we get them planted, we now have about five more fields we can go to and keep on getting acres in and hopefully keep moving and stay on the grind get things going Don't worry. 
pay for themselves. So when you gotta make a repair on it, that's not bad. You can make a repair on it and you can keep going ahead. Make sure the fertility is there, make sure the land is in the right shape. We can plant corn off the back of the back years. 